You got flinch when you feel an arm wrapping around your waist, knowing it was your husband. You turn and hug him, sniffing your face in his chest. What time it is? You asked in a sleepy voice. He rested his chin on your head and patted your back. It's 1 a.m. Go to sleep. It's already so late. I was so worried for you. At least call me if you are going to be late. He smiled and nodded. I'm sorry. Next time I promise I will inform you first. You better. And if you forget next time, then you have to go through my anger. You said and again went to sleep. He just smiled at your innocence and closed his eyes. After some minutes you woke up and fixed your nightgown making him look at you confused. What happened? Are not you comfortable? It's not like I'm sleeping with you for the first time. It's already 2 years. Don't you want to have your dinner? It's already 1 p.m. Oh, you don't have to bother. I already ate my dinner. You looked at him in his eyes but he quickly looked away. Don't try to be smart when you know you are not. I know you better than you do. Wash your face and come downstairs. I'm heating the food. He smiled. All the tiredness he get from the work vanished by looking at your smiley face. It's what everyone needed. A partner who can understand you and feel you without you saying a word to them. That's what we call a heart to heart connection. You were ready to walk out of the room when he grabbed your hand making you look at him frowning your brows. I want to take shower, a long hot bath. I'm really tired today. Look at my eyes. He said wide opening his eyes. You were still confused so you just nodded. Okay then I will take out your clothes. He scoffed and looked at you. You really this dumb or just pretend to be innocent? Are you really in the mood of fighting in the middle of the night? Say it again. He bit his lower lip and smiled, scratching the back of his neck. I said I want to take a long hot bath. He said, giving you so much stress on those two words. You understand what he want to say, but decided to tease him more. Then just go na. He stomach making you a little nervous. You know the result of teasing me. It's not good for your health. You laugh, making him smile too. You both were literally laughing and talking at 1 a.m. without caring about your neighbors. They all are so good to me, you know. You hummed in a sleepy voice while he just smiled at your cuteness. It's become his habit now. He always come home late and you always sleep on the dining table while waiting for him to finish his food. He always told you not to wait for him, but you are not someone who listen to others easily. He put your hair behind your ear to get a clear view of your face and smile. He slightly peek at your forehead and put his head on the table admiring your face. He still remember the day when he said you to not fall in love with him, but he himself end up falling for you harder. Why and wake up dear, let's go to the room. He patted your face, but you looked to the other side making him giggle. He teased you like this for some time. Don't go let me sleep. I'm sleepy and don't overwork. Health is important. He chuckled like how you still lecturing him in your sleep. He picks you up in a bridal style and walk towards the room upstairs. Oh, you are getting heavy, my dear wife. What's the point of going gym daily when I can't carry my wife? Either she is so heavy or I am so weak. He said and laughed because he knows that if you were awake by now it must be his last day. And passes like this everything was fine except Jungkook did not give you time. Day by day you start feeling more lonely and just get a glimpse of him at night. He even leaves for work without waking you up. You start feeling suffocated in this big house. At least get up and sit on the couch. He grabs your arm but you jerk his hand and again made comf- yourself comfortable on the floor. Who are you and why are you touching me? He signs so done with your acting. He is trying to make you get up from the floor from past 15 minutes but you were so drunk that not even recognizing him. Who are you Mr. Rookie? I am Cookie, not Rookie. And why are you drunk so much when you can't hold it? If Nuna won't be there on time, you must put yourself in some trouble. Stop lying. You are Jungkook. I know you. You are my husband, right? He give you a weird look and nods. 
Yes, I'm your husband whom you always bother. Looked at him and smiled, making him more confused. You cupped his face and smiled with your innocent eyes. You are so handsome, not only by face, but your heart is more handsome than you. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. His heart melts at your words. He knows you are drunk and even don't know what you are saying, but the sincerity in your eyes tells everything to him. I'm also blessed to have you in my life. You really owns my soul, Miss John Wayne. Never miss the chance to make my heart skip a beat for you. You didn't even get a word about what he was saying to you, but the smile on your face make him the happiest person on this planet. Now get up from the cold floor or you will catch a cold. He said pulling you and making you stand on your stomping feet. He put your hand around his shoulder but you push him slightly. I can walk by myself. I can walk by myself. You said repeating yourself. He signed and gesture you to follow him upstairs. Walked ahead but when he feels your obstruence he turned back and saw you still standing on the same place with half closed eyes. What happened? Are not you coming? You gulp to satisfy your thought and nod. I am coming. Look, I am coming to you. You said and start walking towards him but you were so drunk that you can't able to walk properly and fall on the ground. Ouch, it hurts. You said rubbing your hip. Jungkook laughed at you. You still don't need my help, my queen. You can do it alone, right? Why do you care about me? I'm nothing to you. You said and start crying. His smile faded because even when you are drunk but your emotions are true. He come near you and extend his hand towards you. Let's talk later. You are looking tired. Don't talk to me. Just go to the office. You know, do one thing. Stay at your office. Why come home for few hours? You are so into your work like the office is your wife and those files your children. M- my what? He said chuckling at your complaints. Why Ian, I am just a little busy with my work. Not little, but you are so indulging in your work that you are not even thinking about your health and our family. Jungkook, it's already 2 years and we were never talked to welcome a new member to our family. I'm not saying that you are not giving me time or your love is not enough for me. It's more than enough, but I'm worried about you Jungkook. In which company do you work that it didn't even set you free on weekends? Why do you almost daily do overtime? Over the past few months I started to feel a burden on you. He cupped your face in his broad palms and shook his head. Who said you are a burden on me? You are my soul. Then why this distance, Jungkook? I feel suffocated in this big house. I always waited for you at night and even when I went to sleep, I always said myself to stay strong because I know I can tolerate one more night without you. But now it seems too hard for me. Let's save some time for each other. Jungkook, I need a good sleep. My eyes are tired and nothing works on me properly. I used to sleep in your arms then how can you expect me to spend my nights alone without you Don't you miss me don't you feel like we really need some time He takes your hand in his and looked at you Why you now We both are alone right now you even know how I feel when I can't take you out to a fancy hotel like your other friends how I feel when I can't even give you a memorable gift on your birthday or our anniversary I'm doing this all because of you and for our future baby. If you really want to see my smile then don't do anything. I'm happy with your sweet talks that still made me blush after 2 years. The look which make butterflies in my stomach. I don't want to go out to any fancy place and every second I spend with you is memorable gift for me. All I need is you Jungkook. Those three words from your mouth make my day. Then why this distance Jungkook? He chuckled sadly and looked at you. I never thought that I am hurting you unknowingly, but one thing is for sure, distance is nothing between us. He takes your hand and put it on his chest. You live here. You are right in my heart, and you are my soul. How can anyone separate me from my soul? I love you so damn much that it start taking meaning of other words. My every word means I am falling for you more. I still remember the day when I told you not to fall for my looks, but look, today I end up falling for you harder. 
Every second he start getting heavy. He was trying to control his tears to stay strong in front of you, but now he can't hold them for so long. Why do you think it doesn't hurt me? I don't want to spend my time with you. I'm dying to eat my meal with you, to share with you my feelings. I want to come home happily, not stressed. Time without you is like hell to me. It's like my soul leaves my body. From the day I meet you, you become my everything. I always afraid that I can't able to be enough for you. What if you? I never even think to leave you. I'm yours, only yours. He never cry in front of anyone. Never let you know about the work he is doing to run this house, because he knows you very well. How you take everything on yourself. But now he needs a shoulder, not to take out the pain, but to let go of this stress. You wipe his tears and hug them, letting him cry on your shoulder as much as he want. You come out from the bathroom holding your head as you still had some alcohol effect on you and secondly your head is paining like hell. You were just going to sleep but Jungkook forced you to take shower. He makes the bed and looked at you but his eyes widen seeing you only in towel. What he mixes in my drink? My head is hurting. You looked at Jungkook but he looked at the other side. It is true you both love each other till your death and also flirt like normal couples do but you both never even share a kiss after your marriage because he thought you are still too young and need some more time to get mature he still want you to get sure of every feelings because you still behave like a child he is already 30 having 10 years gap between you two he want you to go more mature go put on some clothes or else you will catch a cold You sneeze two or three times right after he mentioned it. You rush to the bathroom again while he just smiled, shaking his head at your innocence. I was never able to know what I did to deserve you. Came out from the bathroom feeling all fresh and also alcohol get down from your head. You looked at Jungkook and your eyes were in confusion seeing him standing in front of you holding a cake in his hand. Not so long before you realize it's your birthday. You you remember this? Oh my, the cake is so beautiful and even the person who brought the cake is so handsome. He chuckled as you again jumped into your original self. What are you waiting for? Blow the candle and make a wish. Happy birthday, wifey. You nod in multiple times like a small child and close your eyes joining your hands together. You ask for a good life with him. Thank you, Jungkook. Who oh, behaving all good and innocent again? And later, just a few hours ago, you were cursing me. If I was drunk, that doesn't mean you can just make stories out of your mind. Why would I? I'm a good girl and never curse my husband. You say stuffing his mouth with a cake to stop him from teasing you. Where is my gift? What I get on your birthday? It's my birthday. You should gift me something. But I brought cake for you. Where is my written gift? Huh? You think for some minutes and looked at him. How about banana milk? I'm not a small child. Treat me like a mature married person. As soon as he finishes word you kissed him lips and backed off it just for a second but enough for his eyes to wide open he looked at you and your face was already red by your action take it as a treat from my side you said and get ready to hide your face in the blanket but he was fast enough to catch you and make you stand where you were before it's not enough for me wifey then what is enough for you my hubby You are teasing him he bites his lower lip and shrimp making you go nervous well you you are enough for me you pushed him slightly and he landed on the bed he looked at you potted don't dream so high and stay happy in what you get okay but at least give me a k- proper kiss i think you should sleep now it's already so late and you also had a office to go tomorrow you smile and lay down on the bed back facing him he back hug you and kiss your head I love you so much Vyan and never get completed without you. You smile and place your hand on his. You like how he talks to you softly in your ears. You never going to leave me, right Vyan? You turn to him and kiss his forehead. How can I leave someone who leaves the whole world for me?
my world is you then this world is spreading arms for you come here and i will vanish your all tiredness so you will able to work with a free mind even though he is 10 year older than her but when she spread her arms for him he hugged her like a child any relationship can work if it is made with trust love honesty and maturity understanding is the key to building new relationship Jungkook it's a life and here we had to find a medium to live on Jungkook sighed and looked at you and then again at his dad but what's so need of all this when i'm happy with my job you looked at his mom and gesture had to stop both of them oh honey it's okay let them live as they want don't give him stress when he already starts by his life zagia you are not getting my point he is alone now and why he doesn't even have that many wishes but in the future when they are going to plan their family what do you think this much money is okay but it's not like i'm going to stay like this forever i will find another job that paid me a little more than this one you are ready to find other jobs but not ready to overtake my business he said in a little disappointed tone appa try to understand mom why don't you make him understand that i am not interested in this field and beside nuna is there to handle everything she is running her business more successfully than i can ever do we all know what is taking you back but believe us she had no problem with that jungkook massaged his temple and sighed deeply it's not like what you are thinking dad i just want to tell you that she deserve it more than me if you want me in your company then give me some other position but you smile it's very hard to understand how can someone be this self sacrificing he never misses a chance to show you that you are blessed to have him in your life it's okay appa let him decide things and i also thought that unni is better you are the only reason i show mercy on him or else no one dare to disobey me you smile and nod it i know and don't worry about us we are doing great mrs john kisses your head and smile we don't have to worry until you are with him you really make him a decent man mom i was decent from the start i know i know he potted making you all laugh few days later did i disturb you she said placing the cup of coffee on the table and sitting in front of you she smiled while you smiled back of course not i was getting bored at home anyways she nodded and think for some time well how about you and jungkook is he giving you time or not you sighed and shrugged your shoulder everything is the same he still come home late and tired but it's okay i can understand how hard it is to manage everything together he really got an understanding wife i have to say that his luck is always with him you smiled there was something that was bothering her but she is not coming up on the way to tell you unni is there something bothering you she took a deep breath and looked at you holding your hands Wayne I really don't want to do this as Jungkook clearly told me not to tell you but I don't think I can hold it now What is it Unni you said getting worried by the tone in her voice You didn't believe your ears when Sumi told you the work Jungkook do but now you didn't believe your eyes when you saw him doing the same work as Sumi said Sun was on the top of the head heating the whole place and Jungkook was sitting on a branch all soaked in sweat wearing a cartoon costume and there was a pile of templates beside him Your eyes got teary just by seeing him like this but he is still smiling looking in his phone Just then you got a message you checked your phone and tear rolled down to your eyes Hey how about going for a movie date together Junko You look at him and he was waiting for your reply How about a candlelight dinner in our own room it's been so long Vayan You press the send button and looked at him he smiled and put his phone back in his pocket rearing the head of beer he again started his work You were feeling guilty for saying those heartful words to him because you never knew he was this much hard work just to run the house you wipe your tears and again looked at him with a smile on your face now the respect and love you had for him grew more than anyone can ever imagine of 
A good man is hard to find, but a man like him is never exit on this planet. Now, if this is not blessing, then what it is? Okay, then I will give you the best foot massage you ever got. You said taking a sweet in your hand, but he quickly took it back. Yeah, no need. Why are you behaving so strangely? What is wrong with you, Wyan? There's nothing wrong. It's just you get tired and I'm just helping you. He looked at you weirdly and sighed. You said we are going to have a candlelight dinner in our room. But I canceled the plan from our room to downstairs. Didn't you already have it? But you just light up a candle because the light went out. It's not a candlelight dinner. But both things are similar. Now let me give you a shoulder massage at least. Yeah, I am not tired. I just sit on a chair the whole day. You looked at him and slightly hit his chest. Don't you dare to lie to me ever again. You said in a slightly raised voice, making his eyes got widened. Unni told me everything. I also saw you working outside the amusement park. His expression changed like it is something he never want you to know. Why in? You placed your finger on his lips to stop him. No need to say anything. I am just a little disappointed that you lied to me, but also said I cursed you that day when I was drunk. I never looked down on you because of your work. Instead, now I feel more proud of you. Thank you, he said smiling while you just nodded, being a little sad about your behavior. I was so rude that day, didn't I? You were not. I like you when you used to complain to me. You look so cute. It's a really different kind of feeling. It's really a different kind of feeling. You said mimicking him while he just laughed at your weird expression. If I will hit you some day, will you going to repeat the same thing? He wrapped his arm around you and nodded. If it is from you, then I don't care. You hit his chest multiple times. How can you end up this innocent, huh? It's because of my wife who always melts my heart. Why again? Now it's been two years since you got to know everything about me, and I got to know you too. At least now say those three magical words you said you will say when the time is right. Cupping his face in your small hands, you kissed him his forehead and smiled, looking into his eyes. He was looking at you with love, while your eyes were blessed by him. Dunkuk. His heart was beating like a crazy drum. He knows you love him, but after this confession, everything going to change in your lives. You are my everything.